What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be taking a quick look at the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the metallic burgundy colorway. All right, so just before we get started with the shoes, we will take a look at the box. And they did switch things up this year with the OG inspired box with the black and red. All the other High 85s have come in in the all red box with the black swoosh. But this one right here, as you can see, when you open it up, it pretty much just has white tissue paper inside. And the size tag label does read Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the white team red and white colorway. So without further ado, let's take a look at the shoes. So as you can see right here, I do have the metallic burgundy colorway. Now these were originally supposed to release, I believe on February 15th, but they did get pushed back till June. I did grab my pair over at StockX actually for retail. Retail here in Canada is 265 and with taxes it's close to 300. I think I paid 300 rate on the nose. So you can definitely get these in and around retail right now. But without further ado, let's take a look at the shoes. So as always, starting at the bottom of the shoe with the outsole, you do have this burgundy outsole right here, a standard Jordan 1 outsole, very much the same as you were getting in 1985. Moving your way up to the midsole right here. Now this midsole does differ from your standard high OGs. The high 85s have a more texturized midsole wrapping all the way around the shoe. And the same goes for the low tops. So if you have either of the high tops or the low tops, you can expect the same here on the metallic burgundy pair. Now moving your way up from that, as far as the materials go, it is a thicker and more stiff leather material on the upper right here. Not quite as stiff as the neutral grays, a little bit softer than that, but not quite as soft as last year's black and white pair. So these will definitely take some time to break in. But if you haven't worn the high 85s, in my opinion, they are superior when it comes to materials and just overall comfort in my opinion. Once you have these pairs broken in, they feel fantastic on foot. Now, other than the white upper, which is leather, you do have this burgundy kind of metallic finish wrapping around the ankle collar right here at the back, as you can see. And then the swoosh right here is actually in that metallic burgundy as well. And on the medial side, and then you have the Air Jordan Wings logo on the side of the shoe as well in that burgundy colorway. So definitely a clean looking shoe right here. And this colorway right here is actually never released since 1985. We did, I believe in 2015 or 2016, get the white and red metallics, but we've never had the burgundies since 1985. So they're definitely a welcome addition to the collection. Now, as far as the sock liner on this pair right here, the sock liner at the back wrapping around your ankle is in that burgundy colorway. And then as you can see right here on the inside, on the medial side right here, you do have a white sizing stamp that does read 10 and a half, 230917 XC. And I will throw an image up as well as far as the tag on the inside of the shoe, as far as the production date and such. Uh, the shoes do kind of come pre-laced with the white laces, but on the left shoe, you actually have an extra baggie of laces and this hang tag right here. So you are getting burgundy laces right here in the little baggie. And then as always on all of the high 85 pairs, you are getting this hang tag right here. That is kind of a Jumpman hang tag as you can see. And when you open this hang tag up, it actually has some details as far as the tech with the air sole unit encapsulated in polyurethane the solid rubber outsole, the padded collar and such. I will throw an image up of this tag on the inside. So it is a very thick kind of cardboard material with this tag. And then it has a little black bungee here kind of on the top eyelet. So overall, you're kind of getting everything that you've got in the past when it comes to the high 85, but you're just getting it in this white and metallic burgundy colorway. Now, as far as the insole inside the shoe, you are getting a polyurethane insole which has been standard with all of the other pairs. And then the strobel board on the high 85s is always cardboard because that was the original torsion bar on a basketball shoe back in the 80s. So as you can see right here, this shoe is pretty stiff, especially compared to the high OGs. So you are getting those extra features on the high 85 pair because this pair right here is supposed to mimic as closely as possible to the original pairs that did release in 1985. 
And then as far as the tongue of all the other pairs, the tongue on the other high 85s were a nylon material, but on the metallic burgundy pair right here, it is a white canvas material. So it is a little bit more stiff. I believe this is what they were back in 1985. I know for sure the low tops were this kind of canvas material and not the nylon. So they're definitely really paying attention to the details on this white and metallic burgundy pair. And then as far as sizing goes on the high 85s, in my opinion, they do fit true to size. A little bit more snug in the midfoot in my opinion, but once you break the shoe in and the leather breaks in, they're fantastic on feet. It just feels like you have more structure within this shoe. I definitely prefer the high 85s over the high OGs, but sound off in the comments if you guys have ever grabbed a pair of the high 85s. And then as far as the retail price on this shoe right here, it does retail for 200 USD, 265 here in Canada. And like I mentioned, I grabbed my pair off StockX for basically retail right around that $300 price point. So I'm definitely happy to have these. And I actually did pick up two pairs, so I should have my second pair in the mail in a couple days. And I do actually have all of the high 85s that have released so far. I believe it's six pairs now. So I'm definitely happy to add this one to the collection, but sound off in the comments, what has been your favorite Air Jordan 1 high 85 this far? And then really quickly, as far as the cushioning goes in this shoe, you do have that rubber cup outsole, so really nothing special. And then you have that encapsulated air sole unit with inside of that polyurethane in the heel. So really nothing special. The polyurethane insole is really what's gonna add some comfort in this shoe right here. Because if I were you, I really wouldn't expect much because that air sole unit is pretty much trapped inside of rubber and it's nothing special on foot. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in the white and metallic burgundy colorway. For me, it was a must grab. I do have all of the other pairs in the High 85 collection so far. So this was definitely a welcome addition. That said, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that would definitely help the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk, as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video, and until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.